Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miruko chan episode number 4. Okay, the previous episode, um, it was divided into I think 3 or 4 parts. The first part was uh, Miko actually getting in the bus and like you know the whole uh, thing with the ghost which was actually I don't know repeating stuff that it has heard in the bus for so long and you know like again miko with her poker face had to be ready for the situation then the next scene where we get to see how there's this one guy and a girl as well you know in the later portion she comes where there's like multiple ghosts actually following them one ghost for the guy and a lot of ghosts for the girl and you know like <laughs> the yandere ghost uh, which was following the guy was so hell bent on actually figuring out whether miko actually has in any interest in him or not and that was funny you know like the ghost came and like was almost at her face just trying to confront her and see whether she is actually interested in him or not like damn like <laughs> like yand yandere themselves are scary and like imagine a yandere ghost like <laughs> like that's taking stuff to a new level i guess <laughs> so yeah that was that and then like the next part where miko and hana they buy mm, prayer beads we met and the old lady who, which who was kind of scamming other people but looking at miko she was like yeah let me bring out the big guns he actually brought a really good prayer beat unfortunately it did not work it just blasted off <laughs> <laughs> because of that ghost that big ghost that came in and unfortunately by the end of it she realized that yeah this is not for me let's just go back home to my children and the old lady <laughs> went back home <laughs> to her children and unfortunately miko and hana yeah they don't have like you know like anything and like no prayer beads hana had one but miko doesn't have any so yeah and another interesting thing we got to know is like hana has immense aura or spiritual power i think uh, which kind of attracts the ghost and at the same time it doesn't let the ghost harm her and like um, basically Miko is just like you know kind of involved in that and Miko can see those ghosts so yeah that's another thing we got to know so anyways without further ado um, let's get this video started this is episode number four of Miruko chan so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. What's happening? What the? Is she having a nightmare? I think so. Yes, yeah, she is having a nightmare. Like, whoa! Wait, that's her bro brother, isn't it? What the hell? Yeah, that is her brother. <laughs> Their face are extremely similar, both of them. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Oh boy. Wait, what what was she dreaming about? Oh she she doesn't remember, alright. Damn, even in her sleep the ghosts don't leave her alone. Well it's like it's I think it's kind of normal for her having nightmares because like she's experiencing all this weird stuff each and every day that she can't even tell anyone, so no She's seeing them in the dreams as well. Damn, that's really messed up in a way. <clears throat> All right. 
<laughs> Let's see what ghosts we meet today. <laughs> All right. Okay. Just not pudding. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> waiting for a year. <laughs> Wow, she's buying a lot of things. Damn, she even has stuff in her hands. <laughs> oh! Hello? Um... Oh, don't look! Don't look! It'll... Wait, is, is he like... Why is it... Damn! Ah! Uh. Wow, this ghost does the calculations for him, so nice! 3% tax Oh wait, it can't do tax calculation. My god. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, the ghost doesn't know how to calculate tax. Sad. Hmm. Real scary so Why is she watching this? Um What? Where? Where's the ghost? Oh! That's just Photoshop! <laughs> He's scared Yeah <laughs> wow. What the? Is, is this a commercial? Yeah. Wait, what? What happened? What happened? Suddenly she... Damn, again, crows or ravens. Bad omen. Wow, this place looks really scary. Like, like no people... Oh! Oh no! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Something's gonna pop up. Oh! Oh no, don't, don't stare too much. What the hell is that? Yeah. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> um, what? I don't think that's cute, but I guess. What is she doing? Oh my god. Oh nice, it went to bring his big brother. Oh.
just went to what the hell is this don't yeah i wonder why <laughs> yeah Oh boy, don't jump scare. God, just, oh. Oh. Yeah, she can't even leave this and go back because it'll get suspicious. Don't, oh my God. She can't even pick up. <gasps> oh my god! Can she even smell them or something? Like what? Okay, this is quite nasty, you know? Like all this time it has been scary, but this is nasty. Oh, 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 thank God. Run, run, girl, run. Just. Yeah, just run. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, Crow took it away. <laughs> what? Oh my god, these things are even in their houses. <laughs> oh, it's my life. Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> Again, this girl. Hmm. All right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, she's like every time. Oh boy. Oh, okay. This is a normal person. Wait, who's that? Is that the brother? Maybe not. Why the why would the brother be following her? It is. Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. I I, I think yeah, there you go. I think... <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> That's why right, following. Oh my god, your sister has a lot of things going on. <laughs> Yo. Whoa! What the? <laughs> Damn. That was random, just like a someone. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. 
she's really getting used to this whole ghost things you know like everywhere there are ghosts oh my god come on <laughs> Great. <laughs> this kid, his imagination will go wild now. Oh my god. <sighs> hmm. I wonder. If there's any ghost in like, like they're everywhere oh boy <laughs> oh my god don't <gasps> oh my god, I was just thinking about this. I was thinking like whether there would be any ghost in the What the hell she, she, Oh my god, she's so distracted she can't even see it What the No, don't, don't, oh my god, if she, wait, was she dreaming? She's dreaming, or? Oh, okay, never mind, there you go. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Hope. Oh. Um. Oh. <coughs> Great. Run. <laughs> wow, what, that that was why he came. Oh my god. <laughs> uh <laughs> Oh boy. Oh my god, the thing is still there. Oh great. Okay. It just sat down. Will it just stay in the bathroom from now on? Oh boy. Make a wish. Oh, well. I don't think that's going to come true. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just outside your window, ready to greet you. <laughs> My god. I wonder what actually triggered her, like, you know, suddenly seeing these ghosts. There must be some kind of trigger. Oh, wow. We have another new family member. What? 
Whoa, what the hell is this? What is that? Oh my god. No. <laughs> That's not the problem. Oh. <laughs> it's just repeating stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Um Yeah, you can go in and eat the pudding. Yeah. Like uh -huh. What the hell? Like imagine in your when you're eating with a family like a monster. <laughs> Great. Now we have a new family member. Yeah, you can eat the pudding. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh. What? What's happened? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, oh my god. <coughs> wait. Wait, he was a ghost? Oh yeah, he never, no one responded to him when everyone is talking. So, wait. Whoa, 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 that was a, my god, wait, wait, so, we, we have been seeing the dad from, was it episode one, I think so, yeah, now that I think about it, no one actually responded to him, I think so, but okay, I think we barely even got him, like I think there were little portions we just saw him. I think in the first episode there was, and probably in the third or the fourth, no this is the fourth episode. Probably in the third episode, like there's another time I remember, we saw the dad, uh, you know when, yeah, yeah, because Wom came out and the dad also came out, and they were standing together. And because mom was saying something, the dad was also saying something. And now that I think about it, the mom never responded to him. Oh my god, that makes a lot of sense. Wait, so there were two ghosts in this scene. Like that monster thing, I'm not sure what that is. It seemed the dad actually knowed them. <laughs> the dad was like, no, that's my pudding, don't eat it. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, there's something left. Oh, great. Now they're just blatantly visible. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my god, it's screaming at the top of its lungs. <laughs> oh wait, she was seeing that. Okay, I was. That's why she was scared. Oh my god, I actually realized it now. <laughs> oh my god, it makes so much sense now. It makes. Oh my god. It makes so much sense. Wow, this episode was amazing. That's why she went. I was like, why did she suddenly go? Oh, the dad was also. Wow, okay, that was a great episode. My god, okay. Okay, first of all, uh, the first portion here, we see, um, we meet the ghost which was behind, uh, beside the cashier. And <laughs> the ghost was like, it's 103 yen, but the cashier was like, it's 106 yen. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, <laughs> like, I'm guessing, like, you know, like, they, they said something like, you know, like, like, there's an additional tax. And I'm guessing... <laughs> It's funny now that I think about it. I'm guessing the ghost did not cal like you know actually calculate the tax. That's why it was kind of making mistake on like you know the the price. Why am I even like thinking about this? Like <laughs> I don't know. But it's kind of funny in a way. Like it was actually saying 103 n but you know because of additional charges, it was actually not that. <laughs> My God, I I I really, one thing I really love about this show is like the different ghosts how they're so diverse and different like the the ghost beside the cashier it's, it has like a weird long neck with deformed eyes and blonde hair like damn <laughs> and the obviously the, the 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 brother is kind of following her all this time not oh no i think the brother starts following her after this okay most probably yeah yeah it starts after this anyways okay so here <coughs> after that scene again now that i see this scene again i can see the mom is there the dad is there the mom is like don't stay up too late okay and the dad was kind of yawning and stuff the mom never talked to the dad it, it makes so much sense now and Okay, and here's the thing. Here, the, the scene where we see they were showing us the picture in the television. Um, the, the, the brother was like, haha, edited, <laughs> trying to make a fool out of us. Whereas, now, I, I did not realize that this scene was actually being shown from the brother's perspective. I was really, like, you know, I think, I thought when she, she suddenly got up and went outside, I was like, why did she go out? Because... In my opinion, like going out in the middle of the night is a more risky, like, you know, like you're going to meet more ghosts if you do that. So I was really confused here. I was like, why did she go out in the middle, not middle of the night, but at night? Because, you know, like uh, she can see ghosts. So wouldn't, she, shouldn't she like stay home? And th that scene really confused me. I was like, why did she suddenly stand up and just go out? It seemed like she saw something. And... <laughs> My god, and then they she meets these weird tiny old men. <laughs> I don't know why the hell did she say that those look cute. I think <laughs> her sense got so warped looking at like these weird diff like you know ghosts all the time that seeing that little thing, she was like, ah, oh, this is so cute compared to the things that I always see. Yeah, that's that was probably it. And <laughs> I don't know what the hell came to her mind. She just threw the <laughs> coin and she was like, oh, I lost it. Let's just go and follow the little old man and see where he goes. And oh boy, the little old man <laughs> calls the big old man. <laughs> and it seems the little old man lives inside the big old man's mouth. 
and damn that was now again here uh, here's another thing that we like you know this was another risky move that she did she followed the ghost now i'm not saying that following the ghost is like you know like the the act of following the ghost is not risky i'm talking about the fact that he's letting the ghost know that she actually knows that the ghost is here so <clears throat> like you know like it's like like suddenly like like if you are a ghost like you know you always like try to like you know like go around like i'm saying like i'm just like taking a hypothetical scenario if you are a ghost and you go around like you know in front of all these humans and all the time you like you know they can never see you and you you yourself know that the humans can't see you then if suddenly like a weird random girl suddenly follows you you'll obviously get suspicious won't you so <laughs> I'm like, why do you even try this type of stuff? They got suspicious here, and they, they like you know, like they tried to kind of gauge her reactions more. Where Miko was actually like you know, like trembling to get that uh, coin back, and I think like he, she sh probably would have been busted here. The ghost would have, ghost would have probably realized that yeah, she can actually see them. Thankfully, the crow came in, and it took the coin away now funny thing here crows and ravens are in a way like all the time like you know in animals and like you know the, like in, in, i think like there's like this type of a belief or i think like a superstition or something that <clears throat> crows and ravens they are like bad omen and you know whenever something bad happens it's like crows are being shown as like a symbolic in a symbolic way to show that yeah something bad is going to happen in animes and stuff so <clears throat> weird thing here the crow is that was the one who actually saved her from meeting a like you know bad fate or getting mixed up into this weird type of stuff so yeah that was interesting okay that was the first part then we get to the next part of the brother actually suspecting that she <laughs> she <clears throat> He got a boyfriend or something and then the brother follows him <laughs> with weird delusions in her in his head he's like yeah the like you know like like who, who's the boyfriend maybe he's abusing her or something like stuff like that <laughs> and weird misunderstandings in the library you know so you know that was that and then she comes back home and here i was thinking like <clears throat> what would happen if uh <clears throat> like we've already seen like multiple ghosts in the uh bathroom you know when like in, in the first episode only where we saw like you know the when she was brushing that weird ghost so i was thinking like yeah maybe something will pop up but you know like she like went into the bathtub i was like maybe not oh boy it pops out from the bathtub <laughs> a weird um, ghost i don't know what the hell like you know the weird man it pops up and just stands in the corner boy and like the brother comes in and it kind of helps her in a way to actually you know not like you know, not pay attention to the ghost and she he asks her that yeah did you get someone like a boyfriend boyfriend or something and she was like no and stuff like they had a conversation and everything was okay and then comes the last portion which was one of the best what can i say mm what can i say like one of the best way they act they, they, they did the whole scene here like they did not even actually let make let us realize that the dad was a ghost and this is not um, only for this episode this has been going from the first episode like <clears throat> and everyone suspected that uh the dad was a ghost and you know like like obviously like the, the the dad was acting all this time so normally that you wouldn't even think about it like for example as i said i think in like one of another episode the mom comes out and also the dad comes out beside her and the mom like says something to miko and that dad was also saying something and it was so normal like like it didn't even suspect anything and here again like we see them in such a normal situation when they're as a family sitting down and 
she is like uh, not like she's eating and everything like it's like a normal family the dad the mom the brother and the and the girl the sister so and another thing i think that probably threw us off in this scene like it was masterfully done this whole scene the last scene is our attention was on the weird monster thing i don't know what the hell that is is that like a horse or something like why would a why would a horse ghost be in, in a house? I don't get it. But you know, I <laughs> I wouldn't think much about it. Like ghosts have their own, I think, stuff. So I guess something <laughs> wandered in here. But anyways, all of our attention was fixed on the, the weird monster thing. That we weren't even able to pay attention on the dad. Like the dad was like the normal person here. And like another thing here is like the dad also didn't even react to the ghost if the dad was said something like oh why are you what are you doing here go away or something like you know to the ghost it would have struck then that yeah the dad can see it so either the dad also has this type of a power or the dad like you know um is as a ghost is a fellow ghost he didn't even react to the ghost unless and until the end scene where we see that the dad is actually not alive and it was done in such a well like this is they tricked us very well like like good stuff man like props to them like like what can i say like this whole scene was such amazingly done like all of our attention was onto the ghost that we didn't even realize that whatever the dad was saying no one was actually responding to it the brother was talking the mom was talking the mom was like you know said something to the brother i think yeah the brother also responded the dad was also talking but no one responded to the dad but our attention was so much onto the weird monster thing that we didn't realize and i think if, even if the monster was not there i doubt we would have actually realized because the dad was so normally like you know doing everything like you know just like like just sitting down in his place like wait did he have his food in front of her him let me see let me check he did not oh my god i am noticing this now well obviously why would he have food in front of him because but then the mom also did not have any food in front of her no the mom was making the food so yeah obviously he he would not have it so yeah like that's another thing that you know like but even if we saw that scene, like, you know, even if we noticed that the dad did not have his food in front of him, we would have probably thought that, yeah, maybe the dad ate before. You know? He's just sitting here to see, like, you know, like their children wake up and to greet them before they go to school and just like, you know, reading newspaper. We would see, think something like that. But damn, like, like in such a normal way. Okay, another thing. Let me see. Um, I'm trying to check. No, I, I was, <laughs> you know what, I was actually trying to check whether, like, you know, like, Miko and the brother was sitting, the chair, like, they were sitting and their chair was a little bit, you know, what do you call it, uh, pulled out, you know, because you're sitting, like, whenever you sit in a chair, your chair is sun, like, a little bit pulled out because you need to sit, you need to make place for your legs, you know, so, and I was thinking, like, is, is the chair that the dad was sitting in, is fully pushed in or something but i don't think they like nah they did not do anything about that <laughs> i was trying to find that out the dash chair is also pulled out i i think it would have been a great like you know like detail if they actually kind of made the dad's chair a little bit pushed in you know because that would like you know that would show us how like both of the chairs were pushed in because no one was sitting there and two of the other chairs were pushed out because Miko and the brother was sitting the dad's chair was also pushed in because there is no dad here the dad is a ghost like if they added something like that that would have been very like you know in interesting and like you know like very high detailed i guess <laughs> but you know like yeah like they, they, they did it really masterfully like the dad was acting so normally sitting down in uh, in the uh, like, you know in the on the table uh, not on the table in the chair uh, reading newspaper that we didn't even like you know suspect anything and 
like you know like we thought that yeah the ghost is like and another thing i think that uh, uh, like you know was probably another reason why we actually never uh, suspected anything is that like obviously like the, the the ghosts that we see are so different i i don't think we ever saw a normal ghost like who has a normal human appearance that's why i think it never struck our ma mind that there could even be ghosts who look normal like normal human beings we've always seen these type of weird monster type of ghosts so i think that's also another reason why we never suspected it you know so yeah and another th another uh, reason i think there there's another reason that we never suspected is like all the time there was like focus on only a single ghost a single or yeah m most of the time like the focus was, was on a single ghost so as soon as we get here we see this huge monster thing the monster ghost standing and we were like oh this uh this section of the episode we're going to focus on this ghost and that's why the dad kind of flew under the radar and even if like you know someone actually um realized that dad i wonder did do do did anyone actually think that the dad was a, a ghost like you know i wonder like let me know in the comment section if there's anyone of you who actually realized from the beginning that that the, that the dad was a ghost maybe like i think maybe someone like you know there were probably people who suspected it because of the weird way how the the other characters never respond to the dad if someone actually paid attention to that you know they would have probably been able to guess it and yeah like wow that was a great scene you know and <clears throat> okay so like the way it was done like you know when she goes back takes the pudding out and puts it in front of the uh picture of the dad and like damn that's when it struck like oh my god the dad is also dead and obviously Nico can see him but she cannot respond i guess you know because that would be kind of like you know breaking the rules i guess i don't know what is going to happen if the ghost actually realize the dad won't do anything but who knows what the other ghosts will do if they actually realize that miko can see her uh them so that's why miko can't even respond to the dad and i i doubt the dad even knows that miko can see the ghosts you know so yeah the dad must also think that yeah like i'm just a ghost haunting this place you know like hovering around no one can see me i doubt the dad knows that miko can see her but yeah okay now here's the thing she gives the pudding in front of the picture and the dad starts glowing now i don't know i, I did i think she he, i think he, he's going to uh what do you call it did he become content and now she's going to go go like you know go to heaven or something is that's what's going to happen I don't know. We'll see. We'll see from the next episode. Okay, that was that. And then the next scene, like the last after the like you know ending credit scene, we are seeing that scene again. And at that time, at the beginning, I really wasn't able to put the picture, like you know, understand what's happening. I was thinking like, okay, they're again watching the show, and you know like i did not think that it was like the same scene that they were showing from the uh, from miko's perspective i thought they were again seeing the show you know that's why at the beginning i was like oh my god like look at this ghost this time the ghost is there you know and then it actually struck to me i was like wait a minute this is the same scene that's happening so this is something that we're seeing from miko's perspective and then everything struck like you know like i actually realized what was happening when i realized that yeah that's why miko actually stood up and just went out of the house so hurriedly because she was seeing this weird stuff happening and i'm guessing the ghost that we were seeing was actually a television ghost or something you know like because it, it, it was not only in the previous scene it was even even in the commercial as well so the ghost actually lives inside the t television and damn like like at the beginning i really was surprised when we were seeing that commercial you know with that girl in the i think that was like a what, what commercial was that like a beauty product commercial i think yeah and miko suddenly gets up and goes away i was like what happened like did she see something or some you know and then it explains actually the the reason why miko got up and went away hmm. wow okay i think that was it yeah
Just a sec. Yeah, that was it. I was checking if I missed something. Damn, it's sad. Like, you know, like the, like the whole ending portion was really emotional where we see how like sad like Mio can't even say anything like she can see his her dad and she can't even say anything like all this time my god and yeah yeah that was really sad Ugh. so yeah so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to miroko chan episode number four so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say how you like this episode i i really love this episode especially the ending portion like, that was fantastically done like like great job and uh, comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching I see you guys next week with another episode of Miruko-chan. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.